Okay, so here's opening the box up. Directions, man. Eh. The hose, the new wiring harness, all your little goodies. You got to put the fittings in. Other than that, she's pretty much ready to roll. Probably tighten the filters because they're probably just sitting on there. See how all this is going to play out. But there's it all unwrapped. I'm going to start and put that stupid thing in. And all right, so the directions right here they call for uh, I believe an inch and three eighths hole saw. Just pick a spot on top of the tank and just drill that thing right through there for your All suction right, so tube. Drilled the hole in the top of the tank and what I did, obviously you don't want this crap going in there, is I just put this underneath, held this through the big hole there, held it underneath there and caught that little bastard as it fell out. I'm going to take a vacuum to this real quick and then uh, I'm going to measure your suction tube and the tightener. Alright, got lucky on this one. I almost, I don't know, yeah, you can see it in there. I almost didn't need to take anything off the end of it. Just slide your suction tube on there. Super simple, easy to figure out, obvious. And then the book calls for the thickness in between the bottom of the tank and the suction tube is, you just put a quarter under there, 25 cent piece. And that's all it takes. Get her cut, and then you gotta put your nut on there and tighten her down. All right, got the bracket on. This is bracket, got a bolt to the bed, drill a hole. Fittings are all on that. Fittings added to this bad boy. I'm gonna drill that hole in the bed and mount this thing and then run the hole. All right, so drill the hole in the bed right there, that bolt. And then come on the hip. Up. The uh, factory bed would have a, the mounting bolt for it, is what you're supposed to hook that to. But well, that bed ain't factory, so we got this thing on there. Show that hole and straighten that out. And we gotta put the tank back in it and then run the hoses. Cut them and then. Alright, time to throw the hose in there. Got the tank back in there, and I don't think there's going to be enough hose since the tank is at the ass of the truck compared to in the front of the bed like the normal one. So might have to run to town, grab lunch, and grab some more. All right, they're in the wiring now. Since the tank is at the back of the truck, like I've already said, and it's supposed to be up there. This is what connects to the stock fuel pump on top of the tank right there. That splices in. And then you're supposed to have your, the fast is supposed to go right next to it. And then only gives you two feet maybe, 18 inches of wire you'd hook up to the fast. So I'm just going to throw this extension cord on there so there's it's plenty big enough wire. And that's going to be my little extension. I only need to go about maybe four and a half feet. So I'm going to put the other end on there after I measure it, and then use these the nice crimps, crimp them down, and then heat it up in the shrink. Up here under the front, this was a pain compared to the 5.9s. You can see it all deleted and stuff, so I got a little bit more room, but I had to take, get my finger in there, this guy, I had to take that one off, and then I had to take a, hole, or a, a screw out of that bottom one. So that I could tighten the new fitting into the injection pump and then put that on there and you could do this, there's no room. So you gotta take some stuff out. So the six seven pump, a little different, kind of a pain. Just takes a little bit more. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I had to splice in a little extra length. I just used an extension cord because it's all tied together. I didn't have to put a loom or nothing over a couple other random wires, no lengths or none of that stuff. So I felt like this was the easiest route. Uh, you can choose it whatever way you want, but the reason I had to add this is because the fuel tank is in the back of the truck compared to in front of the rear tire, like a 2500 and 3500, but since this is a 5500 Dodge, it, uh, this, the fuel tank is back where your spare tire would normally be. 
So I splice that in. I use a crimp with the uh, little heat shrink and it's got the goo inside of it. Water tights it and I throw a little electrical tape just on there just for good measure but I shouldn't have any trouble with those crimps. This here is the uh, the power. You hook up the battery right there. I thought I was going to have to splice this one 